What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Zox, and we're back with some more Dislike. Now, we're going to be getting into Sun Wukong, Tang Shuang's Max Rezo, maxed everything, okay? Max Relics, all of that jazz, uh, and just kind of showcasing him uh, once more uh, at this full state, full build. Uh, we'll kind of be talking about it. It's not really so much of a breakdown necessarily, but I really did want to kind of tackle that idea of if it's necessary to, or if it really does matter if you need to have a resonated maxed unit. Now, of course, guys, if you do find that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we don't got no time to waste. All right, now we don't, and we're not really going to get too much into Tang Shuang's kit because that's not really what this video is about. I will, though, show the build that I'm using on mine. So, with Tang Shuang, I feel like it's kind of interesting in terms of the evolution of the build I had for him. Uh, I initially started out with this unit being on a War Machine uh, crit rate build. And as I started to develop the stats and kind of looking more towards what I actually wanted, um, it has now evolved into this. So, I'm currently running Tang Shuang on a Hades crit damage percent with crit damage percent as a sub, crit rate as a sub. Uh, ideally, I could perfect these a little bit more, but that just kind of comes with time as you get better things. Um, then we have attack on the centerpiece, uh, which of course this has some more attack as well as accuracy. And then we go to our very last piece, which is the speed piece, uh, which is going to also have crit damage percent, crit rate, speed, and then resist. Now, it could be argued that I could go for attack, um, but that's all just kind of in sport of like, really what you want to be utilizing your unit for um i have been like kind of testing really more so to see how well of a farmer uh tang shuang is because i know a lot of people like you know they're just wondering like when does the actually kick in and i will say that overall the ling still ends up being the better farmer and we'll kind of explain that part as well right but if we look at some of the other pieces accuracy crit rate speed are the subs that i was really aiming for it just so happened that resist was up there uh speed accuracy crit rate and then of course we have our accuracy crit rate 20% right there. Um, and this what and really what I was trying to focus with the way I built him was trying to offset needing to use the crit rate set. Um, if you are, and I guess this is always the rule of thumb, guys, for those that are still trying to figure out how you want to go about building characters, if you are using a two-piece set, um, say whether it's you know crit, you know crit rate or something like that, um, and you're able to actually factor or filter that crit rate in through subs, you can then a lot of the times find another set to actually equip. Now, that's all in the idea that if you want your unit to be at 100% crit rate or not, keep in mind we now have crit resist. So that set actually has a little bit more importance. So there's just kind of that idea. But again, that is very subjective to when you're fighting those units with that ability of having that crit resist, which currently I think there's two, two units that have it, right? Um, so that's that, right? But we're gonna show real quick. Okay, cool. We got our ascension, so all the ascensions are done. So attack, HP, uh, we got crit damage. And then when we go to our resonance, uh, everything went into attack here, right? Uh, and this is just one of the most popular, but this is also something that is really true to Sun Wukong, which is just being a pure damager. Sun Wukong, of course, can tank to a degree, um, but it all is very relative to what composition you're using Sun Wukong in. So that's just kind of one of those things, and I guess it can be debated based off of where you're placing your Sun Wukong, how you're using them. Is it PvE? Is it PvP? What is it in PvE? It's just a lot of factors, right? Um, so we got that completely done. Obviously, it's 36%, just to kind of recap that real quick. And then everything else is max do so it's kind of interesting and it's kind of weird at the same time to see a maxed <laughs> five star for me because um this is something that's been able to happen over the last what is it uh 10 months or so this is my first max five star after 10 months of playing right um and spending yeah let me, let me put that in there because i'm like well weren't you spending yeah i, I was um now <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and actually show uh, Sun Wukong in the practice stage. And I wanted to kind of talk about this, right? And this is for any stand Sun Wukong users. Uh, and really what the biggest difference is between Sun Wukong and the Ling when we're talking about actually farming, right? I mean, just overall content usage. So we'll go ahead and actually start this. Now, this actually might happen while I'm explaining this, but one of the things that you'll notice with a Sun Wukong 
Sun Wukong does pretty good overall damage, like over time, right? Um, and as long as he's able to counter, like, and this is why I like the counter attack set with the Hades, as long as he's able to get that off, he's going to be pretty much primarily healing himself almost his entire HP bar just about every time. And then, of course, you factor in his S2, uh, he's going to be doing really well. Now, um, on stages like this, for example, which is our current standard for the highest stage you can farm on practice stages, you will come to find that in certain situations, he will get silenced and or uh, CC'd, I should say. If he gets CC'd, that actually is GG, right? Um, because again, as a farmer, one of the things that really helps Laling excel is the fact that Laling is actually able to AP absorb. Um, that allows him to actually lap characters more than not. So then, of course, you put into conjunction the counterattack set. It actually puts him in a better predicament for soloing. Now, again, like I said, right here, that normally, if that guy CCs Sun Wukong, Sun Wukong is dead. So you will see that with Sun Wukong, even at his full build, he could be 100% uh, well, not 100%, but not 100% um, efficient at clearing right so he might have a ratio of like 90 something percent i even say giving him 95 uh and then there'll be that percentile of where he actually gets you know cc'd or something like that and that's why i kind of like having a little bit of resist on him um but again that's about a minute and 20 uh 26 seconds which is not bad when you're talking about a unit that for the most part a lot of people don't even see it that they feel or end or feel that this unit can actually solo anything or farm anything right so sun wukong actually does do pretty well in pve content uh one thing i will state though like and this is just kind of like again to give those examples if we go to our trials here um and we go and we take a look here at ritual miracle even right and i think it's really important for people to see this right one one downside for for sun wukong like and, and this is just to kind of show like I, I heard a couple people say like oh you know a unit at this point can just solo stuff well unfortunately chronos as you can see is inferno and look at what uh sun wukong is so if you tried to even solo this he's going to get elemental boon to death so again like this right here granted you're going to get your counters when you can but trying to pull that off for the entirety of this entire thing is going to be pretty rough on sun wukong to be quite fair so you can see right there he's able to sustain himself but it, his his time is numbered <laughs> so so there's that right and even the same goes in a pep um overall i will say even at a max build sun wukong still needs a team and that's the entire point of me showing this right so even if we were to go into a pep even with him being win attribute right um it's still going to be the same thing they just do a, a ridiculous amount of damage and considering that it is a chance right for that ability to actually proc or that set to proc um you know it's not 100 percent consistent either and that's just kind of to show also the downside to how counter attack works right um so then of course you go into things like fafnir where uh he can typically excel as a unit that just has advantages damage uh the other thing is i uh, just to kind of i would say kind of factor that is that what he really has in terms of his kit isn't really being you know utilized as much uh because of the fact that fafnir has immunity and unless you then cater a slot to someone that is going to be stripping it just ends up being a whole bunch of extra work that honestly might end up leading you to not winning altogether. So in Fafnir, yeah, technically you could use him in here. But again, when we're talking about overall Sun Wukong, he's not a solo unit, unfortunately. Um, he can on in certain situations solo if he's it, it's just kind of like one of those luck of the draw scenarios. Like he just so happens to be able to do it. Now, when we go and we take a look here at Q, let's go ahead and do seven. I wonder, I'll do seven. I've been really enjoying uh, this composition. I'll even show my PvP team that I've been using with Sun Wukong just to kind of like test them out like at that full build that I've really been enjoying has been, uh, let's actually swap our Liling out. Let's do this, all right? So we got our Gabby. We got uh, a couple of different things going for us. So we seem like we'll be okay here. So let's go ahead and battle. But yeah, I, the PvP team that I've been utilizing, uh, which I will show you guys in this video, um, 
it's it's been giving Sun Wukong a lot of limelight, and I'm I'm pretty pretty happy about how it's working. But even in like Cube, uh, obviously Cube Eight is much harder, but he does have a pretty decent sustaining you know factor to him, to where it does help out a lot. The debuffs that he offers with the multi hitting, the critting, it just ends up being really really solid for this piece of content overall. So I will say, granted, you know it does require you to have a team built to be able to make sure he's not dying but the dude does put in work and he does actually do his job pretty well in the right scenario right so this is just like for example just a run in cube miracle just to kind of show like how this dude actually works seven to eight is really good ways to i would say showcase a unit because they are definitely a lot harder um than like six or even five once you have like level 60s now if we were to go to let's actually go to pvp okay so let's go ahead and we'll just do this because i actually didn't even look at those but we'll just kind of find a random person here and this is a team that i've been actually playing around with with some wukong in it uh, and it's been quite interesting i will say uh some wukong definitely like in terms of like who's executing majority of the damage in this team um some wukong's doing pretty well um with the ap manipulation it does help out with just in terms of overall movement we'll actually put this on auto um, with overall movement, it does really help. But again, when we're talking about finishing off, getting those debuffs, the uh, HP decrease or diseased, he does he does his job really well. And then of course, oh man, like Ali, I really do feel like granted Ali individually isn't like super super crazy, but you have Ali in the right team comp, dude. They are wrecking. So as you can see, just even in the PvP situation, we'll even try another team real quick so you guys can kind of see like it's i've been i've been actually like autoing a lot of teams like kind of going through all of this right so we'll even go against this other ap manipulation team granted in my head i can already see myself beating this team and it's just because this is kind of like it's weird on the honor server i feel like this is almost like a standard team that you might see um so yeah there is that but even with all that immunity coverage and all other stuff he has still pretty good damage overall and he just just adds more to the team comp. It just really is super sick. So invincibility, like oh god, Nicole is so good. Like slowing her, and I'm probably I have another video kind of talking about her a little bit more. But actually slowing her made a huge difference in how it made my other units able to sustain themselves or just being able to get to that next round or wave. So again, on auto dude, just overall this team right here is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna cap like it is pretty fun kill the homie man how are you gonna do that all right that's crazy all right so let's see so yep ollie get her get him out of here yes 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 you see why i do absolutely nothing get wrecked and it's like crazy because i'm like dude i i think my Sun kong right now is what like 70 or 80 percent crit rate and this dude like when he crits he crits and it's really satisfying so yeah, this is like, I would say, just kind of showing off my Sun Wukong at the max capacity. Again, the in and like, I'll say overall, like uh, analysis of this character is that he is going to require a team, but I did want to kind of just run him through different pieces of content so people can actually see that. Cause I think it's one thing when a person tells you uh, in conjunction to when a person shows you. So that's pretty much going to be that for Sun Wukong. Uh, and what this this lovely being is bringing to the table um but yeah if you haven't already make sure you catch the other videos that i just uploaded so you can see how this madness even happened in the first place but that's going to be that guys and i'll catch you in the next one